we've been given a very special one-off opportunity to see the 1992 Kiwi cult film Desperate Remedies, which returns to the Civic tonight. Now, the film, which has not been seen in cinemas for over 20 years, has been fully restored and remastered for its re-premiere, which will be attended by the film's producer, writer and the stars. One of those stars is with us in studio right now, award-winning actor Lisa Chappell. Welcome! Yay! Welcome. So you were just describing this whole the whole process is magical. So for those people that haven't seen Desperate Remedies, tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a, it's a very steamy love triangle Ooh. set in a fictional town called Hope in the 19th century. And we shot it in a fish shed on Auckland Wharves. It was a bit smelly, I have to <laughs> a little bit smelly. But the whole thing, all the exteriors, all the interiors, so this whole harbour side town was all shot inside. So you'd have gullies with water and harbour and boats and amazing costumes. I've never been in anything like this in the whole 30 years I've been working. Quite ahead of its time. A lot of Kiwis have probably seen it, but I'd say a lot have probably forgotten just how magical it is. So it's time to go back tonight and see it. It is. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why this film, you know, was nominated at Cannes and why it won awards all around the world, because it's just so different. It's so special and it's so imaginative and wild and melodramatic. I mean, it's got this fabulous um, creativity, which I've just never been in anything like it. I had a wig with, I think, 152 pins in wow. my head, keeping oh, it up. It was that tall, this wig. And I remember um, Deirdre was putting in all the, she says, I'm counting them and I'm writing it down because if I leave any in your head, it's going to be really painful. <laughs> sure enough, at the end of the day, she's counting them all and she's knocking, 152. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So why is it being re-premiered? What's going on? What's the reason behind this? So the New Zealand Film Commission is trying to archive um, Kiwi classics. So thanks to um, Sir James Wallace, our producer, and Gray Burton, who helped kind of get this happening uh, and the beautiful restoration team at New Zealand Film Commission, they have done an amazing job at putting this into um, today's world, you know, and the, Leon Narby who shot it, our cinematographer, is a legend, seriously, those, those, I, I get, uh, bleh, bleh. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I get about this Oh, that's your passion. Yeah. It, yeah. it is absolutely stunning, you'll never see anything like it and the fact that it was made in New Zealand in a fish shed in Auckland for two million dollars. Wow. over 20 years ago is incredible. So it is time to revisit it. And, you know, we saw shots there before. Quite steamy, isn't it? It's oh, I said it's, it's a love triangle. Yeah. I'm a lesbian. And Jennifer has, Jennifer Woodleyland has the um, lead role and she's got me involved with her. She's got um, the darling late Kevin Smith playing Lawrence, who she tries to marry off to Rose, her sister, because Rose is involved with a drug dealer, Cliff Curtis. And then they've got... Um, uh, who else? William Poyser, who's played by um, Michael Hurst. He wants to get on the act because Dorothy is really rich. She's an incredibly powerful woman, which in that time was amazing. So everyone wants yeah. Dorothy. Yeah, nice. Wow. <laughs> and I won't tell you who gets her. <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing is, you know, the late great Kevin Smith, um, he's going to be represented by his sons at this red carpet premiere, yeah. which uh, clearly is quite special for everyone, isn't it? It is. It, it's going to be a really moving night yeah. seeing him again yeah, yeah. no because he, he was incredible there. and you know and when you get all those group of people together a lot of memories to be shared mm. yeah it's gonna yeah. be a good after party oh. <laughs> there'll be a lot of ubers that night <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, and, you know, talking about kevin smith clearly that's making you emotional now yeah. which is nice it's good um uh, he meant a lot to you didn't he well, I was lucky enough to work with Kevin for about the first five years of my career. He was my boyfriend in Gloss. We did theatre sports together. We did this film together. We just, I, everywhere I looked, I seemed to have the lovely Kevin Smith, you know, we did Hercules together, um, as did Michael and I, which was great. But yeah, he was a really special man. He was a really talented actor and such a kind person. And we just didn't have, and we never have had anyone like him. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll leave it there in the yeah. meantime. We're going to come back. Still more to talk about. OK, we are back with Lisa Chapel and Desperate Remedies re-premiering tonight. Uh, apart from that, though, you've done so many roles. Gloss, Shortland Street, McLeod's Daughters. Has there been a highlight? I oh, know, sorry. <laughs> asking, asking your favourite song ever or your favourite movie. Um, McLeod's was a highlight for me because it was just so far removed from my 
experience. And you uh, owned that show, can I, was I just so say? Proud yeah, of you yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You oh, owned it. You. Yeah. And, and I'd never ridden a horse, and I'd never shorn a sheep or crutched or done anything and I just loved the learning that's the learning curve for that one was just so steep and I thought if I can pull this off that'll be um, I'll feel like I've really achieved something um, but Desperate Remedies was my first film so that was a massive highlight and like I said I've never done anything like it since and I've done period costumes since then but never anything like this film so those two were an absolute highlight mm. and my one woman show Fred that was a whole different ball game. <laughs> and the crutching of the sheep, I mean, if the acting thing, or if it would go south at some stage, you never know when that's going to help you again, do you? Absolutely. <laughs> I had a very good long blow. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't have. So what's next for you? I need to get into sharing. So what's oh, next for you? Oh, so... <laughs> Apart from that... Because yeah. you yeah. sing as well, don't you? You release yeah. an album. I know. So I've written a play called Don't Hold Your Breath, which has some of my songs in and some um, jazz classics as well. And I'm, I'm kind of touting that around the island, both islands at the moment, trying to find a home for it. I've, I've written and produced three plays, but this one's a bit bigger and needs, needs more than just me producing. So I'm trying to find a home for that, and I'm trying to find a home for a TV series that I've written, which I'm thinking I'm heading more towards the web now. So yes, OK. Knocking on doors and... Taking what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can crutch a sheep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, hey, and the web's where it's at, you know, for a lot of a lot of shows. I want to yeah. touch quickly on the singing, because I guess for, for acting, you're always in a role. You've always got a costume on, you're a character. Did you feel vulnerable all of a sudden when you stand there and you sing and you release an album? Absolutely. That's um, That was the most vulnerable and bravest thing I've ever done. Yeah. It, having no costume, no character, no other people's words, nothing, just literally telling your stories from your heart straight to the audience was really wonderful and it was um it was a a really special moment i felt like after i'd achieved that album because i didn't know how to play the guitar or anything at that point um it took a few years to make the album i thought i could do anything after that it sounds like you can <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lisa, well, thank you so much for joining us yeah. today thanks for Pleasure. having us and thanks for giving desperate remedies a, a promote because it really is so special and i think if you come you'll just absolutely love it what auckland is will have the one-off opportunity to see the new zealand film desperate remedies as it returns to the civic fully restored and remastered at the re-premiere tonight